Okay, so we're here with Jesse. <laughs> Jesse is not very good on a leash, which is of course common at this young age of about four months. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you how hard she pulls. She's pulling with all her strength here. And yes, she's just a young puppy, so I can overpower her. But first of all, she's not going to stay that way. Um, and second of all, it's still a real hazard, even at this young age and this small size. So um, really, really easily, I could drop the leash. It could slip out of my hand. She could run into the road. Um, we're on a pretty busy road here. Um, it's just dangerous. It's not good. So I'm going to introduce her to a prong collar. Oh my God, you're going to put a prong collar on a little puppy. Yes, I am. I am. I'm going to show you how much good it does. Um, and I have a lot of videos already out there talking about how to properly use a prong collar. It's all leash handling. The leash handling is super important, guys critical that you learn how to handle the leash. The collar itself will not do the work, at least in most cases. Um, but you can see she digs her heels in too. So if I want her to come this way, she's not going to come with me. Right. So this is like what a walk with Jesse looks like right now. It's like, and it's really, really easy guys to condition your puppy to do this more. So every single time I let her pull and I follow her, she's being conditioned over and over and over again to pull, 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 um, and vice versa. If I want her to come this way and I relax that pressure um, when she doesn't come with me, then she learns to dig her heels in. Um, so, and I, you know, I think nine out of 10 dogs have been conditioned to do that, um, although maybe not to this extent. And I'm not saying this is her owner's fault. Um, she hasn't had a ton of learning experiences yet. She's still really young. But without a doubt, if those things are happening, this would continue to get worse as she gets older. So we're going to go ahead and introduce her to a prong collar. And then we will come back and take a look at that. Come on, sweetheart. Let's go. Yeah, good. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Jessie, oh, with her inside out ear, has her prong collar on. And we're gonna walk around a little bit and just kind of teach her what it feels like. Let's go. And I've got a clicker on me too. So when she starts responding the way I want her to, I can reward her for that. So I'm pulling here pressure. And she's like, wait a minute, this feels different. So I'm not gonna drag, good girl. So I'm not gonna drag her. I'm just going to increase the pressure until she moves with it. And then I'm gonna reward her. Let's go. Right here, she's pulling me. Good. Good. So you can now see when she hits the end of the leash and gets that pressure. Good. She moves back toward me instead of just pulling harder. She's like little jaws here. Land shark. Let's go. So her instinct, almost 100% of the time, is to just pull in the opposite direction of whatever way you want to go. So this is a tool that's going to help her get much more tuned in to her people. Good girl. Let's go. Come on. Good. Let's go. So that was a really small moment, easy to miss. But I applied just a touch of pressure. She immediately came with me. So I chose to make a big deal about that and click and reward. Let's go. I just want to see, because she's still struggling a little bit when she hits the end of the leash, and I want to see if I can reduce that. Let's go. Good. Let's go. Good. Oh, 
Oh, good girl. Just a little slight tug there. Good girl, and look how well she responded. Nice loose leash, good job. She's paying a lot of attention to me now. She still gets tuned out and tries to run off, but whoop, let's go. Now it's really easy to get her attention. Good girl. This looks great. Good girl.